All right, I guess we'll start with the offense and the at-bats, and this one just the six hits. What were you seeing from, from the production behind the plate tonight? Uh, Joe Ryan was really, really tough. He had a good fastball going. Uh, I don't think we ever made the adjustment. The good thing that we did is that we kind of drove his pitch count up to get him out of the game a little earlier, but their bullpen came in and did a heck of, heck of a job. I mean, Renee hits the home run, and other than that, we didn't have much to show for it. And then Zach Littell, seven strong innings, didn't walk anybody, eight strikeouts, just that Willie Castro home run, really. What did you see from him? He was awesome. Pretty unfortunate the way it ended for him. I felt bad for him. And even the pitch that Castro hits, probably a ball, two balls below the zone. He went down and got it, put a good swing on it. But, I mean, could not be more impressed with the way Zach is throwing the ball, continues to throw the ball, backed up his best start with another, you could argue, just as good today. You got any idea it's going to be okay moving forward? Yeah, so I've uh, gotten hit in the groin region, uh, but I, I think he should be fine. For a former reliever, you got to like how efficient Zach is coming in. Kind of yeah, I mean, that's what we seem to talk about after every one of his starts. Um, pretty remarkable how he's done it over and over. I mean, he just is so committed to the strike zone. Teams know it, and they're not, they, they don't want to get deep in the count with him, so he gets a lot of early swings and a lot of early outs. Looks like he had Poche up in the seventh. For Kepler, uh, the leadoff guy would have got on, and then for Walner had Castro got on. Right. So it was just a situation of who, where they came to in the order. What a distributed your decision to make a move. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as far as Yandi, is he going to you know if he'll miss another game or two, or is that I hope kind not. of day by day? Uh, yeah, it'll be day to day. But I, as of right now, I hope not. Good. Seven strong innings for you. You didn't walk anybody. Eight strikeouts. How'd you feel out there today? Yeah, I felt good. Dealt my stuff was good. Uh, attack guys got after it. Um, not a lot to complain about. And then Willie Castro maybe just went down and got it in the zone. Yeah, I mean it sucks. Um, sometimes hitters just you know put good swings on good balls. Thought it made a pitch. He put a really good swing on it. Um, I went back and looked really briefly. I think it was below the zone, but. Um, yeah, those things are gonna happen. Obviously, it sucks. It sucks for it to happen there, to lose the in, or to lose the, the lead there in the seventh. But um, it's one of those that might lose sleep over tonight. But coming in tomorrow, just know that overall it was a good effort and uh, take it into next week. You backed up arguably your best outing with another strong outing. Does that feel good to kind of rack up back-to-back -back starts where your stuff is pretty strong, encouraging? Yeah, sure. I mean, this is uh, the time of year where you want to kind of be peaking. So I've been really happy with how I've thrown the ball um, and just keep building on it. Was there anything extra with it being Minnesota today? Uh, no. I mean, no. It's just another, you know, I've, I've never really got that when throwing against other teams. You know, there's no animosity at all. It's just fun to be back here. And, and uh, once you get out there, it's just another game. Is it, is it harder or, or not as hard when it, you know he was a good pitch? You know, it, was a pitch that it probably wouldn't have been hit. Yeah, I mean, it just it leaves a bad taste in your mouth. You know, being a seventh inning there, um, it would be frustrating if I grooved one and he hit it out. Um, it's equally, if not more, frustrating to make a decent pitch and him still do it. But you know, hitters hitters get paid too, um, and sometimes you just get beat. So. So it sucks in the night that way, but um, yeah, credit, credit to him for, for putting a good swing on the Certainly able to get some production early on, but Cash mentioned Joe Ryan maybe was just strong out there today and an adjustment might not have been made the rest of the way. What were you seeing? Um, yeah, we're pretty familiar with him, you know, playing with him in minor leagues, um, alternate site, so I know what to expect. Um, but yeah, credit to him. He, he made the adjustment tonight after the second inning and we got those runs across off him. Um, you know, he bared down for a little bit, and their bullpen came in and made some good pitches. Zach Littell has strung together back-to-back -to -back strong outings, seven strong innings from him tonight. He didn't walk anybody, eight strikeouts. How impressive has he been in these last two starts, starts specifically? Really impressive. Um, not even sure how Castro hit that ball out. Um, it was a really good pitch. You know, that's just kind of how it, how it goes sometimes. Um, so that's really encouraging to see. Um, two really good outings from him. We'll start with Zach Littell. Seven strong innings from him tonight despite the loss. Just how impressive was he tonight and stringing together back-to-back -back strong outings? Uh, first thing, thanks God for this game. And yeah, like you say, seven strong innings, just, you know, two pitches, two homers. And, but like I said before, just baseball and 
we got to just pass this this game and be ready for tomorrow. What has he done so well in the last two starts? Uh, hitting the corners, yeah, using all his pitches and creating space for, like, one pitch to the other, like, separation. And I think that's helping him. The home run in the seventh inning, he thought it was a pretty good pitch. It was like a slider below the zone. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good pitch. It's just baseball. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, you know, sometimes it's good for us, sometimes not. Bernie, I think you have four homers now in your last seven games. What, what would you, how would you kind of explain your power surge? Uh, no, I'm, I'm just having fun, you know, giving my 100% every day, hitting, defense, and on hitting on defense, and that's it. So no, no big adjustment, or Manny didn't give you any tips or anything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he helped me a lot. Really? You did? What'd you do? I didn't do anything. <laughs>